You coming, Vulcan? Your captain will be wondering where we are. Huh? Uh, yes, of course. Let's go. There you are, sire. Right. Change of plan. Seeing how cold it is, it will come as no surprise to you to learn that the dead walkers have already been here. They are still close. We must rejoin my father's army as swiftly as we may. I think we already found them. Take a look around us. There are survivors. Apparently they are camped not far from here. This soldier will lead us to them. Prince Arundel, my lord, can it be you? Soldier, what happened here? Is the king with you? The dead walkers took us by surprise. The cold and the ice. We stood no chance. Almost all of the city has been invaded by the ice. My father, where is the king? I... I know not, your highness. But a few of us were able to escape. Lord Commander Valen has built a camp close by the city. Valen is here? Take us to his camp. By your leave. Follow me, my lord. My prince, we had lost all hope of seeing you return safe. We have no word from Bastion. Bastion is lost, Valen. We came into this war too late. The General of the Alliance gave his life that I should escape with Relmar. The Deserter. What business did he have at Bastion? The Deserter was fighting, while you and your wondrous army waited warm and safe, sat upon their asses. I hope the result is pleasing to you, Valen. Silence, both of you. Relmar saved my life, Valen. For now you will consider him pardoned. By your will, my lord. And I see that you are escorted by the Freeborn Blades. In truth, they are escorting the Red Scribes. But their presence is our good fortune. They have already once put the dead walkers to rout in the marshes. This man slew one of their generals before my very eyes. I will tell you more of this later. Now I must speak with my father. Where is he? <sighs> no one knows, my prince. The king was still in the royal palace when the river Estelduin fell upon the city. The river? What happened? Twas like a great wave that froze all that it touched. We had seen the approach of the Deadwalker's vanguard four days before, and we had raised Keraltos' defenses in preparation. Not even the sight of ten juggernauts would have feared us, but we never dreamt that an Ice Lord would come to lead the assault himself. He walked calmly to within an arrow's flight of the gates, never once speaking, and then, the river rose up from its bed to form a gigantic cloud that hung up over Keraldas. We understood our peril too late. Near all of our soldiers stood atop the ramparts or in the streets when the ice cloud fell. All were frozen where they stood. That was his signal to launch their assault, but we were already vanquished. We fought to cover our retreat. We must find the king! I know, my prince, but every entry to the city is guarded, and we cannot risk being discovered. It is clear we will not travel 200 paces if we do not first slay the sentinels close to the encampment. Only then will we be able to attempt to enter the city and save your father. I'll go find your king for you. Vulcan, did you hear me ask for volunteers? Our mission is over. The Red Scribes have screwed up from start to end, but they're in the hands of the Elven army now. Captain, since we're here, we may as well make ourselves useful, right? And we have to get inside those walls if we want to know what happened to Wolf and the other blades we left here. Ah, Vulcan. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into. That is why I shall go with him. I grew up in this city. We shall help one another. My prince, you know well it is my duty to object to you taking such a risk. And you also know that your objections will change nothing. No man here knows the palace better than I. If my father is within, I will find him. 
By your word, sire. But I fear most what other things you may find. I can but put my trust in your newfound champion to watch over your highness. Don't forget, you'll have to deal with those sentinels before you try anything else, Vulcan. Meanwhile, the lads will set up camp near the south gate. Understood, Captain. Vulcan, I hope you've got good news. I have some questions I'd like to ask you. How did you survive the Battle of Carothas? I was lucky. When we got wind of the arrival of the Deadwalkers, our king sent me to reconnoiter. I was outside Carothas when they attacked. Over the days that followed, I tried to gather together as many survivors as I could. Alas, that was all I could do. Do you have any information about what's going on in the city? <sighs> Very little. I can only trust what the last soldiers who got out have said. Apparently, most of the Deadwalker troops have left, including Lord Blackfrost. He assigned one of his concubines to control the region, but I have no idea what kind of creature we're dealing with. That said, if the Ice Lords keep to their usual tactics, they'll clean up the last pockets of resistance and start transferring their prisoners. Do you know if there's any other resistance in Vertiel? The rare information I get these days is not good. Several human kingdoms have capitulated unconditionally. The Chiller has apparently laid waste to one of the major elf settlements in the East. We have no news of the others. There are probably pockets of resistance, but they are tiny and have no hope against the Deadwalkers. One more reason to hold here. We are Vertiel's last hope. What can you tell me about the Prince? I understand what you're asking. Is he up to it? The answer is yes. Since the start of this war, the Prince has always been in the front line. He has demonstrated skill and courage, sometimes endangering his own life. He has, of course, taken some unnecessary risks, but the situation was different then. I think he'll be more cautious in the future. I see. The young Prince wanted to prove to his father that he was deserving of his affection. He was merely seeking to protect his people. Just in time, Vulcan. I'm afraid I need your help again. What happened to you now? To me, nothing. It's about my people. Have you ever heard of the Stone of Souls? No. Worth a lot? No. I mean, yes. It's priceless, but it's, it's not for sale. Uh, I'm not sure I follow you. I'll explain. Every elf possesses a Stone of Souls, which contains the memories and emotions from all the greatest moments of his life. These stones are passed from generation to generation. It's a way of preserving the memories of our people and of honoring our ancestors. With all of those who died at Carolthas, there are thousands of stones abandoned in the city. We cannot just leave them there. You are no doubt the one who will be traveling to our city the most. If you could bring back as many of them as possible, I'd be eternally grateful. Actually, all of my people will be in your debt, at least the ones who still live. All right, I'll take care of it. But don't expect to see me dancing around with a wheelbarrow full of rocks. That would, in fact, be an amusing sight. But I do get your meaning. Whenever you can, check the bodies of elves you come across and collect the stones. Even if we manage to save only a very few, we will at least preserve some of the memories of my people. I'll see what I can do. Let's change the subject. I have a few questions I need to ask you. I'm guessing this is not the way you'd always imagine coming back to your lands. For years now, I've been waiting for the day when I could go back to my city. But deep inside, I've dreaded this moment. If I was ever coming back home, it could only mean one of two things. Either I'd been captured by my people, or I'd been forgiven because I was right. I would have preferred being captured. My city has fallen, and I do not recognize it. This is no time to feel sorry for yourself. This war is not over yet, and your people need you now more than ever. We have been swept away. There is no more army, no more supply base, and nothing left to fight for. How long have you been harassing the Deadwalker army without getting caught by your people? Nearly seven years. 
Seven years of guerrilla warfare, and you're still here. You know exactly how Karalthas is laid out. You are going to be essential in the days to come. Perhaps. We shall see. Damn, it's freezing here. Aren't you cold? I've spent many winters in libraries with no heating. After that, you hardly notice the cold. Which reminds me, do you know if the library in the city is still intact? No idea. You looking for any book in particular? Not a book, many books. The elves have the most advanced culture in the world. Their libraries contain works of inestimable value. We should find them, they could be useful to us. I have other things I gotta do first. I have to accompany the prince, remember? But I will try to go with you so you can find your books later. Promise. Good day, even if the expression isn't necessarily appropriate. Can I help you? I have some questions I'd like to ask you. Can you tell me more about the battle? Battle? I don't really think you could call it that. We got wiped off the field. A defeat they'll be singing about in a thousand years, if there's still anyone left to sing. Just when our troops were getting ready to take the Deadwalker's assault, that monster Blackfrost appeared at their head. And in a flash, the Estelduin left its banks and came down on the city, then froze most of our troops under these huge blocks of ice. Not many survived, and our city... Well, you can see for yourself. How did you manage to survive? I guess that's the advantage of being a smith. The fireplaces protected me, and I had the time to escape before the undead showed up. Without my equipment, unfortunately. Do you know the Prince personally? I've done business with His Highness, yes, but I wouldn't say I really know him. I was honored enough to forge the first suit of armor that the King gave him. But I guess you're not really interested in the past. I can tell you that he hasn't let up since the war started. Several times after he came back to Karlthus, I've repaired his equipment, and from what I've seen, he must have been in the thick of things. I suppose he's our ruler now, as his father, may his soul reach the duel, is dead. Where's the elven army? Army? What army? Our forces were decimated by the ice, and more died after that, killed by the undead or by despair. As for those who are still here, their equipment is battered, and I can't do a thing. What can an army hope to do like that? What can you tell me about the king? What do you want to know? He was lost in the battle, unfortunately. He was a great king, wise and cautious. Maybe too much so, if you can believe what's happening to us these days. I guess that despite everything, we should be grateful to him that we are the last to fall. Do you know Relmar? Do I know him? He's a legend for us. His repute has grown since this war began. But to be honest, it wasn't always this way. He robbed so many convoys and carts, every craftsman and merchant hated him, including me. But how can we keep hating him now? In the end, he was right. Do you have a moment? I wanted to ask you a few things. What do you know about Karalthas? It's a very ancient city. Far more ancient than it appears. The elves are master preservers of architecture. They shrink from destroying, preferring to construct new strata on top. You can find traces of Karalthas in works that are over a thousand years old. Some buildings, like the royal palace, are of unequaled complexity. But the city also incorporates more primitive districts. And there must be underground areas as a result of all these piles. What happened here? As far as I understand it, the elfin army was caught unaware by powerful magic that buried them under ice in an instant. They didn't stand a chance. And how could they? Such magic requires the presence of a very powerful sorcerer, someone on the order of an ice lord. They rarely take to the battlefield, but when they do, all hope is lost. Rumor here has it that it was the work of Blackfrost. Who is this Blackfrost? Don't tell me that you don't know the name. Don't take me for an idiot. I know what he is, but that doesn't really help much, does it? He's one of the seven. He's known for his craftiness, his guile, 
He prefers using magic rather than his armies. In the past, he used to be more discreet. But for two years now, he's been leading the Deadwalkers' assaults and is regularly seen in the front lines. What changed? I don't know. The Ice Lord's Alliance is a delicate balance. It is possible that this is the result of an internal power struggle. He has certain abilities that make him fit for the role. Black Frost is without a doubt very effective. Just look at the destruction around us. Mercenary. How did you manage to make it through the battle? Bit of luck, just like with everyone who survived. I pulled guard duty so many times in a row that I was sent on R&R. &R. If you really want to know, I was in a steam room when the attack came, having a really hot bath. It was horrible. The deathly silence that fell on the city just like that, with just that awful cracking of ice. Anyway, I jumped into my uniform and ran like crazy until I found my commander. And now here I am. Nothing really heroic about it, I'm afraid. What can you tell me about your commander? I hardly know him. I wasn't in his unit. As far as I know, he wasn't that high up, but he's the highest ranking officer we have left. Anyway, I have to admit that he managed to bring us together, set up camp, and get a bit of cohesion going on us fugitives. That's not too bad. How are things going in the camp? Bah. We're short of everything, and morale's not great. But we're together and alive. And most of us are really pissed off. In a way, you could say everything's fine. Even if I heard that the survivors from the human army were kicking up a bit of a fuss. I'm leaving. Mercenary, I owe you my life. I'll never forget that. How did you get out of your coma in the village? I don't know. All I know is that I opened my eyes and heard the sound of fighting. I just had the time to grab my weapon and get out into the village square. It looked like the General of the Dead Walkers was waiting for me. Sometimes, the sense of duty is more powerful than the pain of wounds. Maybe the cure we made finally worked. Relmar told me about that. Maybe you saved my life twice, not just once. Who knows? In any case, I owe you a lot. I won't forget it. Do you know Relmar well? I knew him well. A long time ago, when we were young. He and I were milk brothers. We grew up together in my father's palace. But life goes on, and by the time we were adults, we were forced apart. Relmar defied my father's authority, and openly rebelled against his people. He betrayed us. He had a good reason for it. A good reason? What reason? Dragging us into a war with the Ice Lords without preparation? His cause was just. He refused to watch the other peoples of Vertiel suffer and fall one after the other. If the Elves had helped, maybe we wouldn't be here today. We could talk about how just his cause is for days. How could we know what would have happened? Maybe we wouldn't be here today. He wanted to act fast. He was always impulsive. But that behavior led him to reject his king. And his best friend at the same time. He betrayed us, and his recent feats of arms can't change anything, even if it wounds my heart. Why did the elves enter the war so late? That decision cost us dearly. It isn't easy to watch the other peoples of Vertiel suffer and fall one after the other. But our king felt that we needed to gain time. We had information about the Dead Walkers that led us to be careful. Long before the war officially began, they were already crushing all of their opponents far to the north. And you said nothing? You could have warned the other kingdoms. We told them. We told them to avoid the fight, to flee and regroup. They didn't listen to us. So, we preferred to stay neutral and not provoke the Ice Lords. They must have known they couldn't defeat us without losing a large part of their strength. So they saved the greatest prize for the last. We thought that our best trained troops could halt them. We underestimated them, and neglected to take into account the fact that each army they defeated made them stronger. Are you from Karalthas? Yes, I was born there. I spent most of my life there. Karel Thass is one of the most ancient of our cities. I mean, it was. We knock things down so seldom that the city is built in lairs. But I've unfortunately never visited the underground levels, and I'm unfamiliar with the passageways there. 
I suppose that's why you asked the question. Huh. If I knew how messed up everything was gonna be. You know what a pain in the ass it was hauling my cart here? I bet. But we're lucky you followed us. We could do with a good smith. Yeah, well, seeing what's left of the village, it's not like I had a choice. And with you around, business is better than ever. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. What is it, Vulcan? I wanted to ask you. The Blades who were in the city, do you think they made it? I hope so. I really hope so. After all, they shouldn't have been taking part in the battle. With a bit of luck, they weren't in the front lines when the ice wave struck. Generally, the Ice Lords don't kill those they capture. They like to keep their prisoners close by. Let's hope that our lads are amongst them, and maybe we can free them. What do you think of this situation? The same as I always thought. That all of this fuss has made absolutely no difference. We are in the shite, and the only sensible thing to do is get the hell out of here as quick as possible. You don't think we have any chance of winning? How can you ask yourself that question, standing in front of this devastation? Either you're blind or stupid. Good gods, a whole army was decimated in the blink of an eye. Do you know Karalthas? I came here a long time ago, at the beginning of the war. We hoped at the time that the elves would help us. Ha! <laughs> I was soon disavowed of that little fantasy. There they were, all safe and sound in their city. Totally disinterested in taking any risk for any other races. I didn't stay long. When I learned that there was a battle brewing, and that the last of the human armies were gathering here, I sent a couple of our lads hoping to recruit some good men. The Knight knows this region well. He came here once before while he was protecting a delegation from the Alliance on the way to visit with the King of the Elves. He would like to reconnoiter the area. He thinks he can find things that would be of great use to his friend. If you think you can find something useful, go ahead. But remember, the position of the camp must stay secret, and try to come back in one piece. Edwin, I need to speak to you. What can I do for you? I would like to ask you a few questions. I always hear people talking about the World Heart. What exactly is it? First, forget all the children's stories about a friendly force for good, or its mythical dimension. The World Heart is very real. It is above all a source of power. It is from there that magic comes, as well as certain energies necessary for the proper functioning of our world. These energies can be captured and used. That is what magicians do. In their own way, each draws his power from the world heart. The demon insists we must purify it. That mean anything to you? It's a good bet it is referring indirectly to the Ice Lords. As you know, those magicians have access to immeasurable power. This power has an origin and a cost. They drew it from the world heart with a veracity that is truly limitless. Each of the Ice Lord's palaces has a portal linking it to the source. Imagine leeches sucking away endlessly on the energy which feeds them. To purify it, you'd have to rid the world heart of all those leeches. So all we have to do is go to this place nobody knows and clean out the all-powerful magical parasites. Sounds like a plan to me. Aren't you cold like that? Is that your polite way of suggesting I'm indecently dressed? I was simply concerned about your health. Oh, how touching. But after having spent nights on end, trapped in a cage in the middle of the swamps, I can assure you that catching a cold is not highest on the list of things I worry about. We're going to try to take back the town. Any suggestions? Yes, of course. You'll need to locate a unicorn, a few leprechauns, and perhaps a fairy or two. They are your last, best hope for retaking the town. So you're saying it's impossible? You catch on quickly. The might of the entire elven army was swept away in a few minutes. The red scribes and freeborn blades are only a few dozen strong. 
be realistic. Your allies are disintegrating. You'd be better off fleeing this place. And then what? Wait for the war to be lost? Put off dying another month or two until the Deadwalker army finds us? You could hide yourself and learn how to control your demon. I could help you and speed your progress. No way. I'm not gonna leave the others to die. This incomprehensible affection for lost causes is going to be the death of you one day. But you could learn a few things in combat, I suppose. What happened at Karaltas? Have you ever seen that before? Wait until your enemies have gathered and then take them by surprise using magic. The attack on this city bears the mark of Black Frost. To cast a spell capable of freezing a river, he would have to be here in person. It's possible that he's still in the area. He could be your key to the world heart. Find him and eliminate him and the door to your goal will open. Hey Buffalo, I see nobody's managed to kill you yet. Not before I've seen you blown up by one of your toys. How's the company doing? If you were to spend less time hanging around with your new friends, you'd know. It's not wine and roses. Already there weren't many of us, and now it looks like our only hope of success in this goddamn war is lying over there, colder than my granny's tomb. We can't last too long in this situation. The captain has to decide to make a move. I reckon the Deadwalker army will find us before we have the chance to desert. Have you had time to talk to the human soldiers? Yes, but they didn't say much. I don't think they trust us, or the Red Scribes, or anyone for that matter. They were just as stupid as we were. They thought they were going to join up with a great army to be safe. As you can imagine, they're a little disappointed. Do you think they'll stay? I don't think they're in any mood to fight. Once they've seen to their wounded, they'll be out of here the first chance they get. What do you think happened here? That we are no more than fucking insects to those bastard Ice Lords. Just one of them was able to wipe out this city with magic. We have no choice if we follow the rules. We have to find another way. Maybe your little flame problem could be a solution. For now, we know nothing. Tell you what. If you save our asses, I'll buy a round of drinks every day for the rest of my life. <sighs> I knew I needed some kind of motivation. Now I've seen everything. The Deadwalkers kicking each other's asses. I beg your pardon? What? This one talks. What the hell are you, a lich? A zombie scribe? We've only known one another a few seconds, and already you insult me. Charming, I must say. If you aren't one of them, then what are you? I am an immortal, superior spirit. And you? So you're an Ice Lord. I thought you'd be... taller, or something. I have absolutely no involvement with that bunch of cheapskate conjurers, and I would never humiliate myself by working for them, since that's what you seem to be suggesting. Yeah? Rotting flesh, sticking out bones? You sure as hell look like a damn dead walker to me. Tut tut. Did no one ever tell you not to judge a book by its cover? It's true that you're young, but use your wits. Would I be fighting my own troops if what you suggest were the truth? All I can be sure of is that you're not really alive, and that makes you my enemy. And what's more, you're in my way. Enough! I yield! This rotting body will not survive more punishment. In all my 6,000 years, I have never witnessed such power. You seem to be as unique a being as I am. What is the source of your power? 
What are you? There's a demon inside me. A creature of flame that claims to come from the world heart. How fascinating. Even if the term demon seems to lack precision, nonetheless, I must confess that in spite of my vast knowledge, I have no idea what this entity really is. At last, something interesting. I was almost dying of boredom. I suspect that exploring what's inside you will probably be quite exciting. No! Don't speak! I'm coming with you. I can't wait to find out more about your case. I can't have you tagging along with me right now. I have something to do in the city. Wait for me back at the camp. We'll talk about what we think you and I are later on. Yes, I've seen where your camp is. Actually, it's quite surprising the dead walkers haven't noticed it yet. However, I suspect my unannounced arrival might pose a slight problem for your brothers in arms. Yeah, I guess with your face, they might not welcome you with open arms. Just tell them I sent you, and try to behave. Very well. Do you know your way into the city? There's a hidden entrance not far from here. I'll show you where it is on your map. Thanks. This city is an open grave. What have they done to my city? A curse upon them all! We'll be lucky if we find any survivors. You there! Help us! Shh! Keep it down. There are still patrols around. We're looking for the king. Where is he? He's... He's dead. You can't stay here, Prince. The city's not safe. Get us out of here, please! They might send us to their camps at any time. Go on. The way is clear. Hurry up and get to the support pillar in the north. There's a passageway there. Once you're outside, go east to the cliff. That's where the survivors have their camp. All right, but what do we do if we come across a patrol? We can't go with you guys, but I'll give you some tips on how to get out of this. To start with, don't bunch up. Send a scout out front and keep someone in back to watch behind you. And above all, make sure you stay quiet. The living dead aren't particularly watchful. If you stay in the shadows and you're careful, you'll be okay. Thank you, mercenary. I've got one last piece of advice. People always think about being brave. Fuck that. Be scared and stay vigilant. If you start losing it, use your anger and don't panic. You'll know what to do. Thanks again. And see you later, I hope. What is this thing? I don't know, but it doesn't look right. Son? My boy? C can it be you? Oh, fuck. By all the gods. Father? It cannot be! Do not look upon me. I, I... I am so sorry. Do not stay here. Take the crown and leave this place. Oh, Father. But what have they done to you? I surrendered. Lord Blackfrost told me that he was slain. That Marshal Winter's army had left no survivors at Bastion. I had not the strength to even raise my sword. And so he changed us, remade us, the other nobles and I, and all those who had taken refuge in the palace. He wanted me to witness our end, so that I would live without defeat and news of your death for eternity. But you are alive. <laughs> you live. Your mother and I are so relieved to know you live. Mother? But how... how can I release you from this curse? My son... If you only knew how sorry we are... You cannot save us. We are condemned to this abomination. You must slay us. The others... The Queen, the Count, all of these people... I feel their suffering. Hear their screams within me. 
Put an end to it, I beg you. Free us that our souls may be with you. Sire, I can take care of this if you want me to. For pity, my boy. Whatever you decide, take the crown. <laughs> He could see that you were alive, and you put an end to his suffering. In every way, I think you did what was best. I know. And I shall have the crown, and all that it represents. But I shall never wear it with dignity until I have reconquered my kingdom and slain this Ice Lord. We have to get back to the camp before the Deadwalkers come for us. The death of one of the Liches is bound to have gotten their attention. I will come soon. I must first perform a ritual to free my father's soul from this unholy carcass so that it may stay with me. I'll wait outside. Or to wait for Arundel, not in his condition. The Deadwalkers will be scouring the city to find who killed their lich. We gotta get back to the camp fast. We waste our time here. The fate of these people is sealed. The sole act that can defeat the necromancers is to take back the stolen energy of the world heart. I decide what has to be done, with or without your agreement. <laughs> 